Welcome to my review of the LEGO Vintage Car Set number 40448. This LEGO set was released as a gift with purchase in January 2021 and features 189 pieces and two minifigures, both of which are unique to this particular set. If you wanted to pick this set up, you'd be looking to spend around the £20 mark, which is what I spent and isn't too bad of a price, I guess. This set is based on the winning entry made by Arnie Yonke into LEGO's build a vintage car contest. And besides a few modifications, the set that came out is pretty identical to their entry. With this set, we take a trip to the good old 1950s where chrome was everywhere and outdoor theatres were all the rage. The car itself is very Grease-esque, looking like a Chevrolet Bel Air from that era from the front and a Cadillac or a Buick from the back with equally as appropriate teal blue and white paint job. Moving on to the box art of this set, we see the 50s vintage car in its natural habitat of the sunny beach with a nice coastline in the background with the car front and centre. The two minifigures are shown as well with the female figure being in the car and the male minifigure being left behind. Maybe he didn't buy her ice cream or something and that's why he's been left behind. Moving to the back we see a few different views of the car from the back side and front with the included minifigure standing next to the car this time. The ribbon on the left side of the box gives details on how to get your Lego idea from concept to reality. To this day, I still think it's awesome that LEGO does this. This set unfortunately doesn't have any player features surprisingly. I thought it would have at least had an opening boot or bonnet. Opening up the box for this set, inside we find one big bag and two smaller bags full of parts, a sticker sheet with only two stickers on thankfully, two separated plates and instructions for the build. If you're really enjoying this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more LEGO content like this as well as more. So here's the assembled set and honestly I think it looks amazing. With good use of the surfboard piece on the side to get the side profile, this set also uses different building techniques to achieve the looks, especially around the back with the headlights and the rear bumper. The windscreen piece is mounted upside down interestingly, but this makes sense for the look they're going for here, which is a windscreen that looks similar to the one used on the newer classic Corvette Lego set. Overall this car is electrifying, especially in this colour. One thing that is quite annoying is the surfboards on the side don't have a good grip on the car so they will occasionally fall off if not handled correctly. In this set you get two minifigures. One female minifigure with a leather jacket and purpley pink bottoms and a male minifigure which features a varsity type jacket with black bottoms. As said both of these minifigures are exclusive to this set which is pretty cool. They both feature a head print with sunglasses though the female minifigure also has another the facial expression on the back with no sunglasses however both do have molded hair pieces that are quite fitting to the theme. In this set there are no printed parts with the license plate being a sticker but there are a few interesting points in this set. You'll notice a part that looks to me like it represents the rack and pinion type steering for the car and the initials MB which are featured on the male minifigures jacket stand for Newbury, a city from the hidden side stories which is pretty cool. Overall being a fan of classic cars myself. I absolutely adore this set and I really thank the creator for entering the competition to make this set a reality. This is another set that will definitely be displayed on my desk as it just looks so good. If you're looking for a vintage car Lego set that doesn't break the bank, this is a set you will definitely want to consider and I definitely recommend. So what do you guys think of this set? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, you know what to do. Please consider subscribing for videos like this as well as other Lego videos and I'll see you in the next video.